Bridgetown is about shifting some reconstruction money from debt to grants and lowering the cost of investing in resilience. So climate change, more devastating floods and more prolonged droughts will not drown us in unaffordable debt. And so we will have the space to do the other things we must do, such as investing in development, in public education, in universities, in health, and in homes. The best measure of whether you have too much debt is whether it's crowding out those things, whether more tax dollars are going to pay interest than spending on teachers, doctors, nurses, and homes. That's not where we are today, but we need the Bridgetown Initiative to keep it so. The people most affected by climate change are the same as those most affected by COVID. And they're the same as those most affected by the global financial crisis. These are just different windows onto the same problem of poverty and inequality. So if you tell me that people are gluing themselves to the road on climate change in the countries that we need to support development finance, but not for the other things we've campaigned on for decades, I say to you, don't dismiss that. Embrace it. For if we address climate comprehensively, loss and damage, resilience, mitigation, we will transform economies, communities, and individuals to be less vulnerable in general, 